what's up y'all it's jess we back with another episode of my sister's crush listen my sister's a hater my sister i have a twin sister her name is olivia uh she a hater we're in high school she got me in trouble with my mama she made me ditch school and then she called my mama our mama and said that I was ditching school. She ain't ditch school. That I was ditching school. She just mad because her boyfriend's friend is cute. His name is Harley. She mad because Harley was feeling the kid, feeling me. You know what I'm saying? Feeling me. And she wanted to get at him. I think that's what's going on, maybe. But Harley feeling me. You know what I'm saying? Me and him rode away on, on his motorcycle. Uh, he gave me a ride to school. And we rode away on his motorcycle. And my sister Olivia, she a hater. She don't like that. She don't like that. When she was the one that that put me in the situation to begin with. But now she got, she and her feelings. You know what I'm saying? Hater. She a hater. She trash. All right, y'all, listen. Let's jump into the next episode. See what's going on. See if I get my revenge on her. Because I'm sick of her already. It's just been one episode. Oh, my God. <laughs> she trash already. Let's jump into it. Okay. Olivia said, you joking, right? Hardly came to see me. He came to see me. You need someone to do your homework or something? Look at her hating again. Hardly said, is she here or not? Right. She said, I already told you she's a friendless loser. She's upstairs in her room. He said, thanks. Okay. Get out the way. Get out the way. She said, but you don't even know which room to go to. Would you like me to show you? He said, thanks. I'll pass. Right. Get out the way. Mind your business. He feeling the kid and not you. Okay, knock, knock. Okay, who that? What the hell Olivia want? <laughs> Unless your hair is on fire, go away. Harley said, uh, Jess. Okay, WTF, why you here, Harley? He said, can I come in or? Okay, at casual, at casual, at casual. <laughs> you may enter. <laughs> I mean, come in. Harley said, okay. Okay, look at him, y'all. Hello. So, what's on your mind? Harley said, I've been telling myself all week that this is none of my business. So I want to apologize ahead of time for being nosy. But I've been thinking about the other day. And the thing is, I overheard the way your sister spoke to you. Oh, you noticed that, Harley? You did. It happens all the time and no one else seems to ever notice. He said, what you mean it happens all the time? You saying she always treats you that way? I said, I'm sorry you overheard that. But I'm still a little confused on why it matters. We haven't even known each other that long. He said, trust me, I told myself the same thing. All week, actually. Okay, so why are you here, Harley? <laughs> why are you here, exactly? He said, I have a brother myself. Our relationship can get pretty complicated sometimes. He can be, shall we say, difficult. <laughs> okay hashtag relatable he said the thing is as complicated as he is at the end of the day he's got my back i said you're very lucky because that girl down there she ain't got my back he said i just got to thinking how i would feel if he talked to me the way your sister talked to you nobody deserves to be treated that way especially not from their own family so i guess i came here because you might feel like you're all alone in the world like nobody really sees you. I only met you briefly, but I just wanted to let you know. Okay, let me know what. Okay, I still remember looking in his eyes. They were dark, quite possibly the darkest I've ever seen. But they weren't cold and empty. They were inviting and mysterious. He said, just in case I was right, that you do feel alone and you don't think anyone sees you, I just wanted you to know that that I see you. I'm sorry your sister doesn't. But that says very little about you and a whole lot about her. One of these days, karma will catch up to her for it. You'll see. Oh, and there's uh, something I wanted to give you. Okay, what you gotta give me? A kiss? <laughs> he said, my mom gave this to me a while back when I was going through a hard time. It's sort of like a prayer bracelet. Why are you on your knees? <laughs> if you want to call it that. Anyway, she said that whenever I was feeling lost or hopeless, 
to just look at the beads on this bracelet and try to think of one thing you're thankful for for each bead one that brings you joy one thing that makes life worth living well that's cute i didn't dare tell him that at that moment it only needed one bead my heart was pounding and I finally understood the phrase butterflies in my stomach. Why was I feeling this way? I barely knew this guy, but I felt such an instant connection to him. And the way he resisted Olivia's charm, I felt like Harley was someone I could trust. He said, but that's not actually why I came here. I came to ask whether you'd like to go out with me. Like on a date. Okay, I said, really? He said, yeah, if you want. I thought we could go on your perfect date. We'll ride down to the train station on my bike since you're such a big fan. We'll watch all the people starting new adventures or reunited with loved ones. You said it makes you wish someone would be that happy to see you someday. And the truth is, it would make me so happy to give you that feeling. Y'all hardly remember what I said. That's so cute. He said, of course I did. I could tell Harley was nervous about asking me on a date. He looked hopefully into my eyes. He said, so can I take you on a date? Yeah, we going on a date with Harley. Of course I'll go on a date with you, Harley. I'll spend jewels for you, Harley. Gems, whatever these things call. <laughs> he said, so this is it, huh? Do you come here all the time? I said, pretty often when I need inspiration. He said, inspiration? I said, I guess I'm sort of a hopeless romantic. I imagine that everyone here is experiencing their happy endings or new beginnings. And I haven't had much by way of either so far. So they helped me remember that there's so much love out there in the world. He said, wow, I never would have seen it that way, but now it's so heartwarming to see all these people reuniting. Look at all these people, y'all. <laughs> hmm. What do you think those people are talking about? Okay, I think this girl been traveling looking for new stories for her podcast. She's telling him her favorite ones. Harley said, hmm, then I think he's the childhood friend, but there's this spark that's always been there. He's missed her so much while she was gone, he decided tonight he's going to confess his feelings. That's cute. <laughs> he said, yeah. I said, you're really good at this, Harley. What about her? Harley said, oh, she's obviously been waiting for her roommate to get back from studying abroad. They've been living together since freshman year, so this was their first semester apart since they started. I said, oh, I bet they missed each other. To celebrate their big reunion, I bet they're gonna, oh, they're gonna hit the town tonight, party it up, you know what I'm saying? Look at that girl stockings. They total party animals. <laughs> I would know. I live with one. He said, this was really fun, Jess. You were totally right about it. I feel all warm and fuzzy inside now. <laughs> he feels all warm and fuzzy. I still can't believe this is real. You must be the most compassionate person I've ever met. He said, hey, what about them? Okay, who? It felt like we were there for hours. We made up stories about the people coming and going, and we talked about everything and nothing. It really was the perfect date. Okay, I can't believe it's dark already. I better head back before my mom gets worried. He said, I didn't realize how late it was. Can I give you a ride home? Okay. Mama gonna catch me, ain't he? Oh, she ain't? Okay. He said, I had a really nice time today, Jess. Okay, um, y'all, I ain't gonna spend no diamonds right now. I'm gonna just say thanks. <laughs> thanks, Harley. He said, see you around there? Okay, for sure. Would he have kissed me if I would have spit diamonds? I don't know. <laughs> Olivia said, what the hell was that about? Harley said, I'm failing to see how that's your business, girl. Stay out my business. She said, what's going on with you and my sister? Harley said, okay, now she your sister. Now you worried about it. Ironic. She said, oh my God. Do you like her or something? I hardly said, girl, again, that's none of your business. Stay out of my business. <laughs> she said, oh my God, you actually do like her. Look at her laughing. Oh, you poor misguided boy. I know what you up to. He said, this should be hilarious. So what am I up to, girl? Since you got the answers and you know everything. She said, you want me. And he said, excuse you. <laughs> She said, but I'm with Trevor, so you think I'm off limits. So now you're trying to hook up with my sister, thinking it would almost be like the real thing. But baby, it's not like the real thing. If you want me, you can have me. It'll be our little secret, sweet face. Or I always say, girl, you are crazy. You delusional. <laughs> she said, just admit you want me and not her. I always said, I don't want you. 
I do not want you. I find you repulsive, actually. Your sister is actually a pretty cool person. You, however, are the real loser. Olivia said, what? He said, does your bitchiness make you hard to hear it? Oh, shoot. Let's try this again. I don't like you. <laughs> the way you treat your sister is disgusting. Hear you. Read her. Shade her down. A smart, cool girl like her is going to go on and do great things. All you do is manipulate people into being your puppets. I wouldn't count on it continuing to work with Trevor, though, because after I tell him what just happened, he gonna drop your butt so fast you'll get whiplash, period. Olivia said he'll never believe you. It's your word against mine. Arlie said, I guess we'll find out. Oh my god. <laughs> Olivia said he did not just choose her over me. She is not gonna get away with this. Look at her hating again, y'all. I can't believe my own sister is the ops. That's crazy. Look at her calling mama snitching. Mama said, I'm still at work, baby. What's wrong? Olivia said, you would not believe what Jess just did. She said, oh God, what is it now? Olivia said, I just saw one of those boys from the other day come out of her bedroom, mama. Linda said, are you sure? Oh God, I just don't know what to do with that girl. Olivia said, I know, mom. She's out of control. I'm so worried for her. She said, thank you for letting me know, sweetheart. You're a good sister. I'll deal with this when I get home tonight. Olivia said, okay, mom. I love you. She said, I love you too, hon. Yeah, my sister is the ops. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Later on that night, look at mama. Hey, mama. How was work? You look tired, girl. She said, fine. Okay, you still mad. I was hoping we could talk. She said, oh, you want to talk? Let's talk. Let's talk about what you did with that boy in your bedroom today. What boy? What you talking about? After Olivia. What now? What now? Mama said, you think sneaking people into your room is some kind of joke? Okay, I ain't sneaking in nobody. <laughs> she said, so there wasn't a boy in your room today. I mean, yeah, but Olivia let him in here. Mama said, that's what I thought. Okay, I swear he just showed up. I didn't invite him. He was only here for a few minutes and nothing happened. She said, he should have never come. Boys that age are only after one thing. Y'all, we standing up for ourselves. I'm not letting that girl get away with it. I'm responsible enough to have a boy in my room. Besides, how many times have you told me I need to get out more? Enjoy my youth or whatever. She said, oh, so now we have an afternoon booty calls. <laughs> Mama. Ew. <laughs> Look, I told you nothing happened, so nothing happened. End of story, period. Can't you see what Olivia doing? She tried to turn you against me and it's working. Mama said again, we're blaming your sister. I'm so disappointed in you. Okay, so I keep hearing. Why, Mama? Why does everybody get the benefit of the doubt from you except for me? Why don't you ever let me explain before attacking me? We ain't gonna let Mama see us upset, y'all. We ain't gonna let mama see us upset. She said, so I'm the bad guy? I don't have the answers for you anymore, Jess. You obviously need help that I can't provide. Mama, why don't you believe me? <laughs> she said, I'll start believing you when you can prove to me that I can trust you again. Who you calling? I said, how am I supposed to do that when you never listen to me? She said, you got one more chance, girl. One more chance before there are serious consequences. I suggest you not blow it. What you mean? One more chance for what? What you talk about, Mama? Look at the look at the hater. Olivia said, "What's the matter, sis? You know what? I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Sick of you. Don't hit her. Don't hit her." <laughs> Olivia said, "I couldn't help but overhear. That sounded serious. Mom's two seconds from sending you away somewhere for good. At least she still has one daughter she can be proud of, huh? Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to a party." And you know who's going to be there? Harley. He just doesn't seem to get how much of a loser you really are. So I'll have a long talk with him to set him straight. Don't worry. I'll tell him you said hi. Y'all, this girl is trash. This girl is trash. First she turned mama against me, and now she want to do the same with Harley. I can't let her get into that party tonight. Look at my Miles said, hope you all ready for the party at my place tonight. Jamie said, lit. I'll be there. Olivia said, just wait till I strut in there with my new couture shoes. 
not to brag or anything, but these LBs have the new special red on the bottom. Okay, wait a second. I know them shoes. Olivia ripped them away from some girl in the store and made her cry. If everybody knew the truth, they'd kick her out of that party in a heartbeat. Good thing I have proof on video. <laughs> I don't know if I'd have done all this. Olivia said, uh, a line? I think not. Excuse us. Party royalty coming through. <laughs> out of our way. Move it, losers. She thinks she's such a queen bee, but it's time I show everybody the truth. If I send this video, the truth comes out, and Olivia's cruel plan to turn Harley against me is busted. Oh, we hitting sin. Yo, I ain't never wanted to hit sin. I never wanted to do something so quick in my life. What are we talking about? Hit sin. <laughs> I'll spend the 29 diamonds. I'll spend it. And sin. How about a taste of y'all on medicine, sis? Olivia said, step aside, nerdling. Jamie said, Olivia, surprised to see you here. She said, do I care? <laughs> Jamie said, it's just, uh, I can't let you in, girl. Olivia said, excuse me. Look at them laughing. Look at them laughing at her. After that video we just saw, she said, what the hell are you talking about, you little boron? Mom said, you got some nerve showing up here. Olivia said, Miles, you knew I was coming. He said, I thought you were until I saw this video. Can we see the video? Oh, y'all, he got a video. Olivia said, excuse you, those are mine. This girl said, what? She ain't even got no name, this girl. I just took them off the rack. <laughs> I just took them off the rack. <laughs> Too bad. Shoes like that belong on the feet of a fashion goddess. Like me. You're just an ugly, lame wannabe. You can never pull those off. Now hand them over, loser. Oh my god. Like taking candy from a baby. Olivia, you trash. <laughs> she said, I don't know what y'all talk about. How do you even know that's me? It don't even sound like me. <laughs> Craig said, you called me a lame wannabe last week. Olivia said, shut up, Craig. <laughs> Everybody knows you can't even grow a mustache. Oh my God. And everyone knows that nobody can hold a candle to your looks. Right, Olivia? Oh my God. Look at them laughing. Olivia said, Miles, you so full of crap. Miles said, whatever you say, but you ain't coming in this house, girl. That's crazy. Look at you, girl. Got egg on your face. Olivia's melting down like the witch she is. Right. We should totally meme this. <laughs> She said, you don't know who you dealing with. You'll all pay. Look how, run. Look how fast she walking, y'all. <laughs> Speed walking out of there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, look at that door slam, y'all. She mad. She mad now. Okay, success. Honestly, it feels pretty good to get back at her for once. Right. I got to remember that. Okay, Olivia, why are you still in your party clothes? Get out your party clothes. You ain't going to no party. She said, you would not believe what just happened to me at Miles' party. I need you to come over now. Trevor said, nah, I don't think I will. Ooh. What? <laughs> Olivia said, what? Why the hell not? Trevor said, you honestly think I wouldn't find out you came on to my best friend? Ooh. Olivia said, he lying. Trevor said, you asking me to believe a girl I've been dating for five minutes over my best friend? You seen too many movies, girl. She said, what you saying? He said, find some other guy to make a fool of. Find a new ride to school while you at it too, girl. Olivia said, you breaking up with me over one incident? He said, nope, it's not just that. She said, what else then? He said, honestly, the way you treat your sister is kind of ridiculous. She said, you can't be serious. You call her a loser too. He said, well, now I'm thinking I was just talking about the wrong sister. Ooh. Harley told me some of the things he's heard you say to her. Never in my life have I heard someone so cruel. She said, so what you're telling me is you breaking up with me over her? This is all her fault. Trevor said, Olivia, do yourself a favor. Get some help. <laughs> Olivia said, don't you dare hang up. What? He hung up, girl. He hung up. Harley said, you good, bro? Trevor said, I'm fine, thanks. It's better this way. Harley said, totally. If you heard the way she spoke to her sister. Trevor said, yeah. Speaking of her sister, what's the deal there? Are you actually hitting that? 
No judgments or anything. I just didn't realize you were that lonely. She's talking about that lonely. Who you talking to, Trevor? <laughs> Harley said, first of all, shut the F up. Right. Trevor said, well, holy shoot. This is serious. Harley said, I just think that girl been through enough. Her sister's a witch. Her mother is obviously brain dead. She doesn't need people making fun of the way she looks every five seconds. So don't be a butthole, bro. Right. That's all I'm saying. He said, my bad. Right, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth, Trevor. Trevor said, you sure that's all there is to it? Why don't you mind your business? Harley said, goodbye, right. He said, you leaving because of that. Harley said, no. I have to pick up my brother somewhere. He drunk again. Trevor said, no offense, but your brother kind of a mess. Harley said, he's aware, but he's not a bad guy. Trevor said, I know. He's complicated. Harley said, you sure you're going to be okay? He said, I'm fine, really. Thanks for everything. Olivia about to get me, ain't she? <laughs> she really about to get me. Who is this girl? Rachel said, there you are. I can't believe they didn't let you into the party. Olivia said, Trevor just dumped me. Rachel said, already? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's horrible. Olivia said, and it's all my sister's fault. She said, how? Olivia said, Trevor's friend Harley told him that I came on to him. And he told him that I treat my sister like crap. I mean, what? <laughs> Rachel said, how is that your sister's fault exactly? Right. It sounds like you had it coming. <laughs> Correct. Olivia said, I don't think I heard you correctly, girl. Care to repeat that? If you was a real one, Rachel, you say it again. Olivia said, thought so. Jess is ruining my life. I can't survive under the same roof as her. I won't. Rachel said, well, I mean, she's your sister. Not much you can do about that, right? Right? <laughs> right? Rachel said, oh, no. That face usually means you have... Olivia said, I have a plan. Y'all, what this girl gonna do to me? Boy, did she have a plan. A plan that would change my life and me forever. That next Friday, Olivia said, did you get it? Rachel said, I got it. Turns out your sister is a very heavy sleeper. But are you sure about this? Olivia said, trust me. As soon as my mother leaves for work, it's showtime. Rachel said, it just, this seems a little much. I just don't want you to do something you'll end up regretting. The girl laughing. Olivia said, it's like you don't know me at all. <laughs> this is going to be a blast. All right, knock, knock. Come in. Okay, this mama. Mama said, I'm heading to work, hon. You heading like that, mama? Why your dress so short? I won't be home until very late, so don't wait up. Olivia said, no problem, mama. Mama said, I tried saying goodbye to your sister, but she's asleep already. She's been sleeping an awful lot lately. Olivia said, I'm sure she'll wake up soon. Mama said, it's Friday night. Are you actually not going out? Olivia said, I'm way too exhausted, mom. I'm probably going to sleep soon. She said, okay, call me if there's problems. Olivia said, of course I will. Y'all, what Olivia got planned for me? <laughs> what you got planned for me? Olivia said, I guess that's my cue. Okay, look how fast she got dressed. Rachel said, but I can still tell it's you. <laughs> Olivia said, just wait. Oh, she gonna dress like me, y'all? Oh, yeah, she gonna dress like me. She dressed like me. How about now? Wait, hold on. Not her pulling out a book. <laughs> Rachel said, you look exactly like her. Olivia said, that's just about the rudest thing you've ever said to me. But thank you. Y'all, that's crazy. Trevor said, are you sure your brother's gonna be cool? Harley said, he promised he wouldn't get drunk tonight. Maybe he'll surprise us and keep his promises for once. Okay, Axel said, who's ready to get effed up? <laughs> what happened to not getting too drunk tonight, Axel? And what's with the sunglasses? Axel said, number one, why you bringing up old stuff? <laughs> number two, because they make me look cool. Harley said, seriously? He said, well, that and I'm trying to hide from Christina. Harley said, sunglasses accomplishes that now? He said, I don't know. It made sense at the time. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Would you mind losing the glasses, Axel? You look ridiculous. He said, is it gonna make you get the stick out your butt? Harley said, it's worth a try. He said, fine. Are you happy now? Harley said, delighted. Now, why are you avoiding your girlfriend exactly? What's your problem? What's going on? Trevor said, you said the G word. Oh my God, for the love of God. <laughs> Stop being such a baby. Axel said, you know how I feel about that word. I never have and never will have a girlfriend. Just look at what happened to poor Trevor here. So sad to see a man lose his balls. Oh my God. They so hard to replace on such short notice. Harley said his girlfriend was Satan in heels. That don't count. Trevor said, hey, <laughs> the truth hurts, buddy. You go to a different school, so you never even met her, Axel. Axel said, don't have to. If Mr. Nice Guy over here says she's Satan in heels, then that's exactly what she is. Not to mention, you have horrible taste in women anyway, bro. Trevor said, look who's talking. In any case, she ain't my problem no more. Axel said, good. Maybe now we can actually get you laid. Who knows? Maybe we can even find some poor girl with low self-esteem for Prince Charming over here, too. Harley said, I hate when you call me that. Axel said, I call him like I see him, bro. When's the last time you were laid anyway? Harley said, ain't none of your business. <laughs> Axel said, that long? <laughs> Trevor said, he's saving himself for Jess. Harley said, shut your mouth. Axel said, Jess? Who's Jess? You're not the kid, you know? Don't even think about it. She's not your type. Axel said, you should know by now I don't have a type. Harley said, is it time to go home yet? <laughs> don't you dare. So what, your brother's drunk again. You said it yourself. It's not your job to babysit him. Let Axel act like a tool if he wants to. Axel said, wow, this Axel guy sounds like a real dick. <laughs> Thank God he's not around to hear this or it'd be really awkward. Right. Trevor said, just relax and have another drink. Harley said, maybe you're right. Okay, look at these girls. Look at this groupie. Christina said, texting me, wondering where I am, baby. Oh, that's his girlfriend. <laughs> I to say, why she just roll it up like this? Axel said, Christina. Hey, <laughs> you. Christina said, sorry, I disappeared for a while, lover. Somebody locked me in the bathroom. Axel said, what? They did? How terrible. <laughs> Trevor said, he did not like that girl in the bathroom. That's crazy. Harley said, you surprised? He does it every Friday. She said, so you gonna dance with your girlfriend? Look at all them purple eyes, y'all. Axel said, maybe I would if I had one. Ooh. Christina said, I oh, don't be like that, bro. Axel said, look, Christina. Here it comes. <laughs> I try really hard not to be a dick. Harley said, you have? <laughs> Axel said, as I was saying, I tried to let you down easily. But you obviously one of those girls who can't take the hint. Christina said, meaning? Okay, this is the part where they start crying. Axel said, for crying out loud, you are not my girlfriend. You never have been and you never will be. So don't be a cliche and just move on, okay? Christina said, me a cliche? Really, Mr. Ripped Jeans? <laughs> Harley said, the girl got a point, bro. Your jeans is ripped. Axel said, look, maybe someday I'll settle down or whatever, but today is certainly not that day. And you are certainly not that girl. Dang. She said, why don't you want me? Axel said, look, Christina, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> Trevor said, he did not just bust out that cliche breakup line. Harley said, this is actually the closest to being sincere that he gets. Axel said, Christina, look at me. She said, oh, I'm looking all right. He said, I mean, look past my killer good looks. <laughs> I would make a horrible boyfriend. I'm rude and sensitive and have a really hard time keeping it in my pants. If you catch my drift, call me a cliche all you want. I'm at peace with it. But you don't want me. You just think you do. So move on. Find a nice guy like my brother over there. Not, not the brother. <laughs> Harley said, oh God, no. Leave me out of this, right? She said, but you the one I want, baby. He said, oh my God, I suck at this being nice thing. Harley, a little help over here. And Harley said, well, what? He said, how do I politely tell somebody to F off? <laughs> she ain't taking my hints. 
Uh, Harley said, I told you already, keep me out of this. My name is Benny and I ain't in it. Axel said, thanks for the help, bro. Let's try this one more time. Leave me alone. <laughs> Before I say something that makes you run off in tears. Look at him, y'all. Now what you doing? He said, pretend that she don't exist. Has she run off in tears yet? <laughs> Harley said, not yet. Just a few more seconds. Christina said, you such a butthole. Oh my God. God, I love you. I love you. Oh, look at her running, y'all. Off in tears, like Harley said. Like Axel said. All right, she finally gone. <laughs> Party time. Harley said, why must this happen every time we go anywhere? <laughs> Just one night with no drama. That's all I ask. Axel said, it wasn't my fault. Harley said, you the one who hooked up with her in the first place. Axel said, again, why you bringing up old stuff? <laughs> I may be a butthole, but I'm an honest one. I don't string girls along and make them think they have a chance when they don't. I clearly state before anything happens that it's just going to be a hookup. Is it my fault they don't believe me? I don't think so. Harley said, so? Stop hooking up with so many girls there. Axel said, you watch your mouth. <laughs> watch your mouth. Not all of us can go without sex for years at a time like you can. Daddy has knees. Oh my God. Harley said, would it be easier to just shoot me and get it over with? <laughs> Trevor said, dude, what y'all see? You'll never guess who just walked in. Harley said, who? Axel said, whoever it is, I call dibs. Harley said, shut up for two seconds. Is it Olivia dressed as me? Yep. <laughs> Olivia said, not a bad turnout tonight. Too bad I have to spend the night being my loser sister. This is going to be torture. Rachel said, it's not too late to back out, Olivia. Olivia said, it's just tonight. And this is going to be so worth it. Yeah, that's crazy. Harley said, Jess. Will Harley see through Olivia's disguise? What does she have up her sleeve next? Find out in the next chapter. Y'all, Harley is my boo. Y'all think he going to know it's not me? He got to know it's not me. He got to know it's not me. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next episode. Surely Harley, surely Harley gonna know that it ain't the kid. You know what I'm saying? Because he was feeling the kid. He should know. He should know. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.